and welcome to the next tutorial um i haven't made a video in a while um as if you haven't watched my videos um about sorry for the inconvenience and my coding made easy update you might want to watch those to see why i haven't made videos in a while um so but anyways if i repeat any of the stuff that i've taught in the earlier tutorials please ignore it um i'm just trying to show you a few things I'm right here, but I might repeat myself. So I never watched through my earlier videos to see if I, um, if what I'm teaching here is what I've taught earlier on. But please bear with me. So, anyways, I'm gonna teach you about some stuff with vector twos and with rectangles. So, um, a uh, what is a rectangle? A rectangle is something, is an area a rectangular area where you want to display something whether it be a video whether it be a sprite or anything else and a vector 2 is basically a vector um, it is a position with a direction if you've learned about physics or whatever basically a vector is a position where you want to state something so um, when you when you're working with X and A Vector twos will basically store the x and y coordinates of the object in one variable, so it makes it easier to manage. So, uh, right, I I think I've t I showed you about vector twos and um, rectangles in er earlier videos in earlier tutorials. So basically, I want to show you a bit of their properties, some of their methods and stuff that could help you in the near future so let's look at uh, so if we look at the code at the top I made a vector 2 position and position 2 and this is from an early tutorial um, I've loaded this, this new sprite font called game font and these are some variables I'm going to be using to, um, to draw the actual font to the screen Okay, so right here, I put distance equals a vector two dot distance. So basically, um, distance is a part of the vector two class. This is the method right here, and basically, what this does, it finds the distance between the two vectors. Now, this could be useful in a in a lot of different ways um to find how far uh, if you're doing enemy and player collision you can find out how far the enemy is from the player and if the player is touching the enemy or close to the enemy then it does something or the player dies or whatever um negate returns the inverse um vector so say the vector position was at 100 100 then it will return negative 100, negative 100. The minimum returns the minimum x from the from the both of them and the minimum y from both the vectors. So, uh, if say our first vector w was 50, 100, and our second vector was 150, right? Then minimum will return 50, 50. Because um, 50 is the lowest x coordinate out of um, position and position 2. And 50 is the lowest y coordinate from position and position 2. And for max, it's the exact same thing. Um, it just returns the highest one rather than the lowest one. And for the length, um, it just shows the length of the vector. So how, yeah, basically that explains itself. Now you see a little thing that I'm putting here dot to string that's default with the C sharp language and it basically returns this value into a string value so we can use the sprite batch um the draw string from the sprite batch to actually display the values to see what we got so um if we go to our initialize method I initialize position to 150 100 for the x coordinate 50 for the y coordinate Position 2 is 0 in the X and 200 in the Y. And I've loaded the sprite and the game font. 
and I'm getting the particular values. Now, one thing to notice is that all these have vector two before them, vector two, vector two, vector two. Vector two is a class, and these are the methods within vector two, right? And this is one of the following properties. So this is positions of vector two, and we're getting the length, right? So remember, you wouldn't put vector two dot length. You actually put the actual variable name dot length to find the length, to find the max, and all these stuff. These are methods of the class. Now, before I run this program to show it to you, as a programmer, there's you're always gonna have to have references to find what you need to find, right? So you're not always gonna have help from everybody. You have to be have the initiative to go and find stuff yourself. So right here I'm at the Microsoft official website where they have the documents for the rectangles. And when I go to the rectangle members, I can see everything that I need to see. And you can go to the fields, the constructor, the methods, the properties, to see everything that's in the rectangle class. Well, uh, I'm in vectors right now, sorry. I should go to vectors. Same thing, it shows the members, fields, constructors, methods, and properties. So, right now, if I go to, if I go to men, Anything with an S beside it is um that means it's static, which means it's static method, which means that you can derive it from the class name itself. So I could put vector two dot min. If it's not static, then it, that means it's a regular method, and that means you have to cla um call it from the variable itself, right? So if we go right here, the method length is non it's not static so you have to call it from the variable but vector but min min max negate and distance are indeed static so you call it from the class itself so I don't know if that sounded confusing hope you understood that if not comment below or inbox me or comment and then I'll leave you an inbox message or something or I'll reply to your comment anyways so the um, the Microsoft site's a good reference to see what's in that class and to see what each thing does. So let's just run this program. Oh, and let's just go to draw method to see how everything works. So this is what I'm drawing everything to the screen. If I click F5, let's see what we got. Sorry for taking so long. Okay, so this is the distance. 180.2776 is the distance between the two um, sprites, the two images. Now, X um, is negative 100 and Y negative 50. Um, that is the inverse of, um, what did I put it to? That's the inverse of the position, right? Not position to position. So that's the inverse. So in the original position, x was equal to 100 and y was equal to 50. And this is just the inverse. Now the min and the minimum is 0 and 50 between the act between position and position 2. The max is 100 and 200 between um, position and position 2. And the length of the f the length of the first box is 111.8034 and these are a few things that we can we're going to be using later on in the future also um let's look in the rectangle class and i'm not going to be doing any code on this because i've already taken too long um let me see how much time i have left Okay, so let's look at the rectangle if we go on the Microsoft website. So if we look at some of the public properties, we could check um, we could check the y the top y coordinate of the rectangle, the right the x the far side of the rectangle, the left side, the bottom or the center point. These could be really good for collision and such. 
um, we can use the intersect or um, the overload method to see if they intersect for collision. I have a, a we you can always do collision by yourself, but these methods help to make it easier. And you could use all these different things um to you could get all these different things to help you in creating a game in the future. So oh sorry. So I'm sorry this was kind of like a vague tutorial. It's just basically getting you in the habit of using different websites and different resources to see what different things you can do with classes and different things you can do with vector twos and rectangles which will really help you in the future and if you watch my c plus plus and allegro series i've taught a lot such as creating platformers and i've showed them a lot of different stuff so i'll show you how to use these things to make a space shooter when i've done all the tutorials and you should be able to use a lot of these methods to be able to make a great game so um thanks for watching this tutorial hope you enjoyed it um have a nice night and goodbye